Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. So today, we are breaking free from the constraints of traditional setup. If you ever wish to extend your IP camera range up to 1,500 feet without the hassle of daisy chains, you're in for a treat. In today's video, we will explore the innovative solution for seamless long-range civilians. So traditional methods of extending IP camera range, particularly through daisy chaining, come with inherent drawbacks that can slow the effectiveness of a civilian system. Daisy chaining involves connecting multiple devices or camera in series and creating a chain-like configuration. And while this approach might seem straightforward, it brings several challenges. One significant limitation is signal degree as the signal passes through each device in the chain, there is a loss of quality, and resulting in reduced radio resolution and potential disruption in the feed. And this degradation is more pronounced over longer distances and impacting the performance of the civilian system. And complexity is another challenge associated with traditional setup. Daisy chaining requires meticulous planning and precise configuration of each device in the chain. And the power over Ethernet extenders play a crucial role in enhancing the range and flexibility of IP camera installation. In a nutshell, PoE technology allows both power and data to be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable, simplifying the deployment of devices like IP cameras. And PoE extenders, in particular, serve as devices that can effectively amplify and extend the reach of PoE signal. And by leveraging PoE extenders, users can overcome the limitation associated with the traditional daisy chaining method used to extend IP camera range. And unlike daisy chaining, where devices are connected in series, PoE extenders offer a more efficient and reliable solution for extending the power and data transmission distance. However, it is important to know that despite the advantages, daisy chaining multiple PoE extenders has its drawbacks. While this approach might allow for longer range coverage, it can introduce complexity and potential point of failure. Each extender in the chain adds a layer of complexity, and the cumulative effects of multiple devices may lead to signal degradation and increased vulnerability to network issues. And when selecting equipment for extending IP camera range, it is crucial to consider several key factors to ensure a seamless and effective setup. Compatibility stands out as a primary concern, ensuring that the chosen equipment aligns with both the specific IP camera model and the existing network infrastructure. Another critical consideration is power requirement. Different IP cameras may have varying power needs, and it is essential to choose equipment, such as PoE extenders, that can provide the necessary power to the cameras over extended distances. And this ensures that not only the transmission of data, but also the continuous and reliable supply of power to the cameras. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and an innovative solution that can address the challenges of extending camera range without resorting to daisy chaining is to utilize our PoE Ethernet extension kit. Now you can save the work to daisy chain multiple PoE extenders by enabling 300 meters, that's 1,500 feet continuous PoE cable between the extenders and also obtain high reliability and complexity thanks to its direct burial waterproof design and simple plug-and-play installation. It is compatible with the IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard, provide up to 30 watts of maximum output power and 100 megabit per second data transfer rate. So next, we are going to do the connection step-by-step step together. 
So first, let's talk about what we have here. We have the router to provide the main network data. This is a WebSmart PoE switch. We'll use this to power up our Edge Bullet camera. This is the NVR. It is already connected to the monitor. So first, I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the NVR directly to our router. And then using another short patch cord to connect the router to our WebSmart PoE switch. So now we can transmit both power and data to our PoE enabled bullet camera. Here using another short patch cord to connect the PoE switch to our PoE extender. So in a traditional PoE extender method, we will plug in the data to the input port and then using the output port for transmitting power and data. But with this 1,500 feet special method, we are going to use the data port to connect with the output port. So this is directly from the router. Go to the output port and use the input port for the 300 meters Ethernet cable, just like this. So we're facing the input port toward the input port. Coming over here, we have a 300 meters Ethernet cable, nothing else in between, only the Ethernet cable. And over here, we have another PoE extender. This is a special mounting tool, allows you to mount the extender wherever you like on a DIN reel. Just like this. Remember, we are going to plug it into the input port. So now we are facing the input ports together and use another short patch cord to connect the output port with our bullet camera. So we can transmit both power and data to the camera. And you can see the indicated light will turn on shortly. And all we need is a single Ethernet cable between the two extenders. You can even bury them under the ground. As you can see, our camera is already working. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is absolutely a live video. It needs a little bit of time to adjust the focus. So the whole connection is done now. And here are some more tips for optimal performance. Choose the robust and secure services for mounting your IP cameras, and this can minimize the vibration and ensure the cameras stay fixed in their position. And also consider the environmental conditions, especially if the cameras are in store outdoor. Use weatherproofing housing to protect the camera from harsh elements. And before your installation, you can survey the area the cameras will cover. Identify potential obstacles and adjust camera angles accordingly for comprehensive coverage. Position your camera to capture the most critical area. Till and pan the features, if available, can be adjusted to achieve the desired field of view. Additionally, an alternative and efficient solution to achieve a remarkable long-range PoE transmission without resorting to daisy chaining is the use of long-range PoE switches. These innovative switches are designed to extend both power and data transmission over a considerable distance, and providing a streamlined and effective way to enhance the range of IP cameras. And if you want to know more about the long-range PoE switches, here is a video you can watch. And congratulations, you have just extended your IP camera range up to 1,500 feet with the power of PoE extenders. And enjoy the seamless civilians without the need for daisy chain. Thank you very much for joining us today. And if you like our video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, for more tech tutorials.